The U.S. Justice Department today released a new policy for the federal government's use of cell phone tracking. The new policy is simple. Federal agencies need a warrant before they can track phones using cell site simulators, also known as IMSI catchers, stingrays, or my favorite, dirt, bat, dirt boxes. They're called flying dirt boxes that they're in an airplane. In the past, the FBI, the Drug Enforcement Administration, and other agencies used to track suspects without warrants from cars or airplanes using technology that interacted with the target's phone as if it was a cell tower. The American Civil Liberties Union conservatively guesstimates that about 53 agencies in 21 states use cell site simulators. Google's Chrome browser is notorious for being a slow, bloated pig of an application. Now Google says its new Chrome 45 version of the browser is a lot faster and does a better job of reducing memory usage. Chrome 45 will render the most recently used tabs first, for example, so the sites you're probably most interested in will load faster. And when heavy processes aren't using a lot of memory, Chrome will take some quality time to go in and do some memory management for more efficient processing. Google claims, for example, that when running Gmail, Chrome 45 can free up almost a quarter of the memory normally used. And finally, as reported earlier, Chrome 45 will pause flash ads by default. Yay. A navigation company called Phantom Alert is dragging Google into court for stealing data. Google has a social map application called Waze, which it bought two years ago for a billion dollars. Phantom Alert is alleging that fake points of interest data inserted by Phantom Alert into its own database also exist in Waze's, which could only happen if Waze copied it without permission. A lawyer for Phantom Alert claims that the data theft was done by Waze to make itself more attractive for acquisition. In fact, it was very attractive. Both Facebook and Google tried to get it. Facebook lost, Google won, and now Google is a company that's in court. 9to5Mac is reporting that Apple is planning to release in October a 21.5-inch iMac with a 4K display. The screen will sport a resolution of 4096 by 2304.